Hi, this is Matt Archambeau from drawingtutorialsonline.com and I just want to sneak in a YouTube clip over here and basically what I'm trying to do is clean up this drawing and this is anatomy lesson number nine for members of the site and basically I'm going through all of the bones first and what I want to show you uh, on this quick tutorial is each one of these bones, now I know I've spoken about this infamous peanut shape many, many times on, on the website and in all these videos. And each one of these bones, this bone right over here is called a metacarpal. And each one of these bones is basically the peanut shape and it is really pulled and stretched to be very long. So now when you're drawing bones like this, you want to think of the overall form and then I've got some beautiful like line that's like wrapping in. We've got beautiful convex and we've got some gorgeous like little textures that we can also add on. And I'm pressing down a little bit harder for video, but I just want to show you in this quick tutorial that you want to incorporate convex line. You want to incorporate the textures. And when you're drawing bone, I, I don't think I would draw it the way that I'm drawing it. If I was doing this drawing for myself, and this wasn't a tutorial. If this wasn't a tutorial, I wouldn't be putting in these blacks. I'd really be trying to stay very light with the bone. And uh, I'm actually drawing from two things. And I, I don't know if I want to take it down because I've got it all set up, but I do have a skeleton, it's plastic, a hand up on my drawing table. And I've got a photo. Let me take the photo down and show you. So I'm working from life and I'm working from photographs. I, so I've got my skeleton hand right over here that I'm looking at, but I'm more so looking at the actual skeleton. And I'm looking at, uh, I photographed the skeleton in as close to the same position as I can get with the hand. It's hard to manipulate a plastic skeleton to gel to a hand um, that's very, very um, organic and, and loose. So basically, uh, I'm just kind of hanging out here with you at YouTube, and I just want to show you um, what I'm doing for the members and I, I just want to reiterate that uh, when you're drawing bones that you've got to think still of them as form and you still want to do these beautiful convexes convex being a line that rolls in you want to add texture but you don't want to go too dark with the texture when you're drawing something that is light you really don't want to go as black as what I'm doing with some of my outlines the only reason why I'm really going black is for video purposes so the line just actually really pops and and people who watch the video can actually see it so you know I think it's very important I know that I've done one or two like anatomy uh, lessons for all the YouTube uh, users or at least hinted at the importance of anatomy but on hands it's really crucial because I think it's very important when you're drawing any human form um, or if you're drawing an animal, let's say you're drawing a dog and, and you want to incorporate some kind of dog into your illustration, it's really important to know where to pop certain bones. And hands, uh, there's not a whole lot of muscle around these bones. Like hands are really bony. And so this is where you're going to make your figure drawings look a whole lot more realistic if you can incorporate a little bit of this anatomy. And so uh, that's that's so so very important now I, I know that uh, I've said it over and over again in, in most of my videos that all the techniques that I teach to you guys on YouTube I really keep in the back of my mind and I primarily think about anatomy when I draw I don't really think about like angles I really don't think about negative space I mean I think about it but I think about it for like a split second it's usually in my subconscious. I, I primarily try to figure out, all right, you know, what's going on under, underneath the skin? What is underneath that knee right now? Or let's just bring it to a hand. I'm like, hmm, what is that? And what's going on underneath the skin? And I try to always think about that. And the rest just kind of happens automatically. And the reason why it does is because I've been doing it like my whole life. Now, some of you on YouTube have requested that I show you some of my old stuff. I'm not against doing that, and I will do that. It's just a matter of me getting organized. I've got to dig dig some of it up. I mean, I went to go visit my aunt uh, recently, and when I walked, I haven't been over to her place in a very long time, and when I walked in, I saw a painting from when I was in first or second year of college. I think it was, oh God, I don't even want to say the date, but let's just say it was like in the 80s. It was so long ago. 
and I looked at it, and I was like, oh my god, that is gross, and it was painted so thinly. I mean, it had one or two good points to it, but for the most part, it was painted too thin, and it was like a little heavy-handed, and um, so I'm going to try to dig up some of these paintings. I should have some of them uh, here in my house, and I just got to look for them, and then I'm going to dig up some of my recent paintings and also show them, and I'll try to do like a timeline for you because it's it's you know it's a little unfair where I come on and I just try to show you these drawings and I'm I'm a pretty old dude I'm not super super young and and so uh, some of you guys might be like really young watching these YouTube clips and you're like wow you know uh, you know he's pretty good but I I've been doing this for so many so many years it's not even funny so I'll give you some context and I'll show you some of the old stuff and I'll try to do it this week I won't make any promises online that I can't keep. And I'll just show you my timeline of where I progress, and it really has been like a long time uh, getting to where I am right now. So uh, that is what I'm up to, and I just want to show you this little kind of aspect of this anatomy tutorial, just to kind of keep in touch and to show you what I'm doing. Uh, what am I working on? I'm working with the infamous Colorace colored pencil put out by Prismacolor. It's pretty much all I work with now. And I tried to go back to mechanical pencil, and I just physically couldn't do it. I have um, an affinity for, uh, gosh, mechanical pencils, but I, I just can't go back to them ever since I started drawing with this. And I'm drawing on Bristol paper, and I really only use this Colorace pencil on Bristol or on like a 70-pound white drawn uh, paper with minimal tooth to it, all right? Okay, that's a long YouTube clip. It was just basically a rambling on YouTube clip, but um, when you're drawing anatomy, think of each individual bone as a part of the peanut-shaped family and just put a little texture on it, a texture being like little pot marks or you know, little indents in the bone. Give yourself some surface plane light and shade and give yourself some convex line. And I think that would be like really, really a cool thing to do. All right, see you soon, and hopefully that next uh, tutorial that I do for you on YouTube is going to be all about, uh, you know, some of my earlier artwork. And don't uh, be afraid to drop by drawing tutorials online, even if you don't necessarily want to become a member. I've got some cool, you know, online pose things there that you might want to watch a clothed online pose and, and maybe just draw from that model as if you're kind of almost drawn from um, the model on, on the model and stand. And they should be in um, free videos or they're definitely not in drawing tip of the week. They're probably in the upper left hand corner. If you go to the website, you'll probably see free videos and articles. All right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.